Okay, time for this week, Galpia Kalakic Vlog, and uh, hopefully it's going to be short. Today we got Blythe, Blythe Pet Project, uh, written by Evan Gore and Heather Lombard, twice in a row of them, to the point out last week. Anyway, so in this episode, um, Blythe basically happened to jump upon a squirrel who she named Shivering, who Basically, come comes to the table, pet shop, and it turns out he had a bit of a hoarding problem. They gotta find a nice place to live, go eat and stuff, go eat, you know, and fix a little problem. Meanwhile, Tommy has lots of relaxing and hilarity and food from there. Um, so, like a pretty couple one, not a whole lot to, like, talk about here, but this is definitely one of the episodes where you don't, it's like, well, you don't think about it too often, but we were, but there's a lot of really memorable moments. And the moments are a bit more memorable than the actual full plot. But the plot ain't too bad. Like, actually, watching it again, there's not that many things that bother me. It just, when you look back on so many episodes, this one's not gonna stick out as much. Even though there are moments that that stick out. I mean, Shiver himself, he appeared again in a recent episode. Well, clearly, you know, because we had something memorable. Um, and it is the individual moment. <laughs> I think, you know, the, you know, the main plot, the hoarding, we've seen that a few times, so maybe that, but watching again, I remember most of the episode, you know, it's just that the physical thing you saying for plot, you know, it's like, hoarding, woohoo, you know, and the plot don't drag quite a bit, cause, you know, cause by a few, like, by the one part, we're all pecking up blaming each other for the missing object, and that part cap. Probably going on too long, yeah. Before I figure out we did it, and a part where they do a cat came back down thing where they just, we should try to put him apart, but he could come back. That probably dragged, maybe, but that part was pretty funny to me because you could keep coming back. And they're going to fight, but I think they they make it interesting because they throw in some joke or something interesting at each turn, but again, it's not the involved plot. It's not the whole thing, I think it betrayed pretty well. I mean, about normal, nothing too crazy there, but I do, but having him be, you know, feeling stuff of morning actually kind of be, you know, again, it's strange, but I think it kind of worked to, you know, show his sense of problem, and, um, I, I do like him. He is kind of like, cool. I do think if we can him, give him reflections that just make him funny, and he has funny reactions to things. And, you know, again, I do think he's so much pathetic, despite the fact that he's kind of thief and the, the stuff. Porter, you know, I like him. <laughs> again, uh, I don't know if I would have brought him back like we did, but, you know. Um, you know, but for a little moment, you got quite a few of the little moments. But two big ones you're probably thinking of would be... First of all, Kong, lots of found bots, which is great. She goes over to Sweet Delight and ask for lots of found bots, and they break into a whole mutual number where we see all the crazy things that have a lot of found bots, including the Holy Grail, apparently. <laughs> and it is a hilarious song because they're having so much fun seeing it, and Plank gets cut into it, and they have all these crazy objects. It's like. I believe in that post I get kind of like a thing for going to to an extent because of the list, the nature of it. And, uh, and it's almost a big up to a moment, but you can kind of part of the plot to have her act for lots of sound box somewhere for relaxing. And right after she gets to the twelve belief, right, we go feed her and go to Jack about her lots of sound box. But almost a big up to a moment because it does, like, ultimately add nothing. But finally, weird, is the only young me song in the whole hearing? Yeah, look, uh, look over, it's the only one. I don't. I don't even remember she, like, Coke ain't getting Young Kong going. I could be wrong, but it, her full name is Young Me Kong. You think they would obey that name? But, oh, and she, like, 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 best friend, you think she would have a Kong? Goo! <laughs> I got more of a king role than her, technically speaking. <laughs> if you think about it, um, because that, that was one Kong well, but that would be, like, a slightly more scary Kong than this Kong, which is pure filler. And I've got you again, crypting only Kong, too, but no one cares about her. Um, and Blythe is going to find a bit of who's gotten way more Kong than her. Go, no cute. And Shantan can't see Pen King. Go, you've heard of Pinkie Pie. She's going to with that, so, you know. Um, and then Crypting Whip by uh, Minka. Go ahead, like, you know, she can think. Um, and of course, my small squirrel, which is the best. It's the, the, the mild 
I think the first big like, my pony reference. I believe the only other big one is the one in um, the um, Halloween episode. Um, and it's really funny, just out of nowhere. Oh, this is what it's gonna be like. And I love how Shivers like seriously, like you and not care. And it's pretty funny. And there are small moments. The guy goes again. Probably you can black and we just go funny moments for bumping in the thing. Yeah. You know. Um. And again, again, there's a couple of little moments. You know, I like. And it's like road to the thing are the only reason people probably remember from it. Without it, I probably would still like it, but I probably would be. I don't know. I probably would still like it. Fine though. Um. Yeah. In general, I do like. It. I like. I like the. Well, I'm mostly interested in. I don't think I'm gonna bored or whatever. I think most of the time, you know, but something amusing would happen every time we get cold, though, so it can't stay interesting. And it got the whole thing kind of holding together because, you know, like, it go fun, it go fun, kind of get together for it should be interesting enough, go we kind of leave more problems and gap in for them in the end, you know. Um, <laughs> next moment, the Tobin Glack, apparently, they end up. In her purse, but I can probably maybe should put it in there. Go, it's not a total cop out. I think I'll recap what I didn't like that with a doorknob, but um, but pick up uh, my pony, I'm gonna go. Wait, no, uh, yo, yo, wait, um, <laughs> wait, no, I'm gonna mention something, but anyway, um, huh? um, I don't know if I'm gonna shut the okay, um, as far as I'm about it, right, we're gonna go, they have very comedic writers a lot of the time, and this is like. I don't know if it has any, but we had even a structure before the one. A very good round, probably I can tell from where we got because. Um, in kind of this one, though, um, again, it's the comedy, what kind of ring is, because, you know, they are. I don't know what particular plot lines they're good at, but it seems like one of the cases where the comedy will make the plot more memorable than might be otherwise. So, we did a good job on this one. I can kind of see why we do, we kind of go a little more than. From a rack up code, yeah, while we up code work it like they got problems so. So, overall, I like this one. I like the way they do the thing, and it got children to like, oh, got a amazing song, and I got a bunch of little moments, including a big funny moment. So, not great, not up code people remember. Maybe because of the title. The title kind of generic. You got Black Pet Project, it's like, Ooh, I, I don't care. Like, I should have given a snappier name. And it's definitely right for the finale, but I like go. Oh. But, maybe change the title, maybe punch thing up a bit, maybe it could have been. Remember, remember. But if we have like 78 pluck up a go, like, some are not going to be remembered of much. Not because we're problematic, but just because that kind of has to happen. Not every album could be used to remember the other. And the couple of the few, one of the few is get forgotten about because. But it got for two big ones to take out. And who knows how different it would be if Ogun did not again. But in general, I do feel like I enjoy it. And honestly, I don't have any problem with it. Like, nothing I think could have been fixed. I mean, you know, yeah, it is good, you know, enjoyable, not great. But it had one of my favorite songs in the community. Yeah, it's in my top song, let's shut up. But good point. Give it to young, young Ming Kong, three and a half vegan. This is the only one. They could joke a song. I don't know how it happened. Maybe someone's gonna correct me. Maybe I'm forgetting about something. But anyway, that's Black Pet Project. They give me a lot to okay, but it's nature, really fun to talk about. And they grant lots of sandbox. But lots of sandbox. Uh, got stuck in my head again. Probably gonna listen to it again when I'm done here. Um, uh, go. Now to pick out the next one. Okay. Nineteen. And I think I know what that means. Teen. Ah, next week we become humanarian, I guess. With what did you say? Well, there it is. <laughs> that was not too far away hook after that. We're staying in you one for some reason. Um, <laughs> um, so I guess, next yeah, time we find out what did you say. And do 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 and goodbye.